Dean, your assessment of today, please. Proud of our performance. Um, thought we were outstanding in the first half. And really dominating in the first half. And the opportunities we had, just guilt dead. I've just watched them in the absolute guilt dead chances that we've missed. So we five unbelievable opportunities to score in the first half and never took any. And um, good teams, that's what they do. They come out second half. To be fair, they locked onto us. Tactically, they tweaked things a little bit and they pressed us a little bit higher. I think three of their goals are coming their goal kicks. So, look, we've got to learn at the top side. And what good teams do is when they get one, they smell blood, and then they come for two, three, four. And they've done that. What I was proud of is the character we showed, how we kept going, how we got a couple of goals back at the end. And this is their top side, we're a top manager. So, it's their day today. We lick our wounds and just move on to the next game. Obviously, you mentioned about that excellent first half performance. What was the message to the group at half time? We knew they'd come and press us. We had to be clean in our clearances. Addy's made a, uh, the first goal's come. Addy stepped in, makes a poor clearance, then doesn't get back in his slot. Um, and Dobra gets across him. The first goal's a ricochet. Actually, Skip clears it, hits Dobra and goes in. So a little bit of luck for them. I think they had a couple of ricocheted goals uh, within their goals. But look, a clearance then. Another one's come from a goal kick. Um, the message was clear at half time. We knew they'd come after us and press us because I could hear Cookie on the side not happy. We just had to stay composed and show composure in our defensive line. And our distribution from our back line wasn't good enough. Obviously, we know how good Chesterfield are. They're obviously top of the league for a reason. They had 10,000 here. But obviously, when they get that first goal straight into like the second half, there are lots of positives to take from today. Yeah, we're a good side. Really good side. They played really well. Um, not just for the first half. We, we showed composure on different stages, especially at the back end of the game. Like we kept going, we kept we had to play with ten men. It looks like Idris has pulled his hamstring. Another muscle injury, which is really frustrating me. We had to take Addy off. Addy's been out for six weeks, so we had to get him off in case he pulled his again. So um, I'm sound like a broken record with these muscle injuries, but we've got to sort it out. We need to get it sorted. So hopefully we we'll get it sorted. But um, yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud of our supporters. Proud of our, our level of performance. Um, and I don't think we wilted when they went 2-3-4, two, uh, two, I, I, I don't believe that happened, I just think they're a really, really good side, the strength and depth they've got within their squad, their bench is amazing, so, and uh, look, second half they were the better team and they deserve to win the game, fourth half, just can't miss the chances we did in these big games. Obviously it's still November, a long way of the season still to go, how important is it now just to dust ourselves off and go ahead against Gates? 100%, there's nothing else we'll be doing, you know, we'll, we'll debrief the game like we always do and move on to the next game, that's all we can do, I think Gates had a fantastic result today, so they're a good side, um, play really good football, got a lot of good players, so, so we'll debrief it, uh, we'll dissect it and then just go through it on Monday morning and move on to Gateshead from sort of late Monday morning, um, I know we've got good character in this group, so we've got some big tests this month. And this was the force when we just come up a little bit short today. Um, full credit to the opposition, though. And, uh, and finally, you just sort of touched on it there. 600 fans come and supported us today. What's your message to them? Unbelievable. Really thank them for support. A little bit disappointed with the result for everybody. A um, little bit of a kick in the tee today. But that's the bar we've got to get to. So as a football club, that's everybody within it. We've got to get to that level where Chesterfield are at. Because they're going to take some stopping. Um, there is a long way to go. We'll keep taking it one game at a time and we we'll see where it takes us. Dean, thank you for your time.